But I'm not going to do that because it's my favorite part of the show. Don's Dimes. No luck passes. Um, Don's Dimes are not uh, topics I think about a week ago. They're, they're on the fly. And I, I'm, I'm going to throw you guys a, a dime. If you can own any sports team and make one decision for own while, while you're owning the team, what would it be? I'm going to start. I would own my beloved Minnesota Vikings, and I would trade for Justin Fields because I think he's a lot better than people give him credit for. I have been on record saying that Kirk Cousins is probably the biggest thief in American history next to Floyd Mayweather. Um, but he has an amazing agent. Kudos to his agent. Um, but we're not going to get there with him. We're just we're just not going to get there with him. I'll gladly ship him to Miami if you guys want him. I'll take Waddle for him. I'll take Waddle for him. And But if I was the owner of the Minnesota Vikings, I would trade for Justin Fields. I think the young man has a very bright future. We have Justin Jefferson. We have the young kid from USC. We're gonna, we need a, a running back very, very soon. Um, it, this may shock some people as, you know, me being a diehard Chicago Bulls fan. But shit is so fucked up in Chicago, I don't want anything to do with it at all. Nothing to do with them. So I'm going to pick the Minnesota Vikings and I would trade for Justin Fields. You guys, go ahead. Wow. You go first, Nick, because I'm sweating my ass off right now. I, I, I mean, <laughs> that question was kind of tough, Donald. Um, it was easy. For, I'm, I'm shocked at Donald's answer, actually, to be honest. No, no, I don't, I don't mind that. I mean, I probably wouldn't trade for Justin Fields. Uh, I mean, yeah, whatever. That's why he, they live in purgatory their whole life. I mean, that's the Vikings. That's why they cut me, because they're stupid. Um, <laughs> um, the team that I go, I'm going to own the Dallas Cowboys. All right, I'm about the money, and we're going to get Jerry Jones' old ass up out of there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold everybody accountable. The first move I'm going to make, I'm going to trade that Prescott. He has to go. I need a quarterback that's not going to wear a stupid hat to the game and put pressure on himself that we're going to get it done and fool me. You're not going to fool me because you fooled me once. Shame on me. You fooled me twice. You can't fool me again. And he will fool me again. Yeah. Somebody said that. I'm pretty sure it was George W. one of them bushes, the latest one. And he won't fool me again. And I will get him out of there and I will wrap him up in a deal because the team is going to get him. And I'm, they're going to they're gonna buy what I'm selling them. I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to give you Dak Prescott. I'm going to give you a first-round draft pick. Give me Herbert. Justin Herbert. And I think he can lead my Dallas Cowboys to a championship. Um, I'm done with Dak. I'm, I'm giving him up. But I think the next quarterback who I think would thrive would be Justin Herbert. Once I get him under my tutelage of me being the owner and GM, I'm going to turn him into a winner because I can't do it with Dak. He's, it's been a long time coming, a long time gone, and he has to get gone before I – he got to get gone, get, get, get gone. He's out of here. So the Cowboys, because I'm, I'm, I want to make the moolah. They make the money. All these dumb cowboy fans, they think we're going to win every year. They buy into us. They spend money on us. They buy jerseys. They think we're going to win every year. We don't care. So I'm going to turn into that. I'm going I'm to keep taking their money. But I'm also going to try to win and do things for the organization. So uh, one day I'm going to get them a championship and then they can actually feel good about themselves instead of lying to themselves every year that we're back like you um. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that Donald said the Vikings. I really thought he would take the Yankees because we're both diehard Ooh. Yankees fans. And, of course, that's an easy answer for me. I would want to be the owner of the New York Yankees, the greatest professional sports franchise in American history that has more championships than anybody else ever. 27 rings. We're still waiting for 28, but we won't fire Aaron Boone. So, um, yeah, my first move would be to fire Aaron Boone. I'd be the manager of the, of the owner of the Yankees and I'd fire Aaron Boone immediately as far as my first move because watching him manage teams into the ground just makes me puke as a Yankees fan. It disgusts me watching this guy manage. I cannot, I cannot stand management by analytics. It doesn't work in baseball. 
They keep shoving it down our throats. Analytics is bullshit in baseball. You know what wins in baseball? Good pitching and high batting average, period. You can put together all these numbers that say, oh, you, 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 you can put all the numbers together and say, oh, you hit home runs. Bro, we haven't won because we cannot hit for average. We strike out. Our best players strike out 150, 200 times. I love Aaron Judge. I would have, I mean, I have a number of moves I would make. But one of the moves would have been that I would have absolutely, there's no way in hell that I would have lost a bidding war for Yamamoto. There's no way. But that's done. That's neither here nor there. My first move after would be I'm guaranteeing that I'm going to sign Blake Snell and I'm going to sign Jordan Montgomery. I got more Marcus Stroman. Those are my first two moves after I fire um, Aaron Boone because the Yankees need pitching. And then I'm going to trade. I'm going to see who wants to take DJ LeMahieu and Giancarlo Stanton off my hands because these guys have, are, are old and dirt. Uh, Stanton with his strikeout, he's always hurt. He strikes out tons of times. He can't play the field. DJ LeMahieu went from being really, really amazing and just remember what Max Kellerman used to say about Tom Brady, the cliff. DJ LeMahieu fell off the cliff worse than any baseball player I've ever seen. He went from hitting 360 to 260 in his season. It's awful. He cannot hit anymore. He's late on the ball. Yet they want to stuff him at the leadoff position. Is that a worse cliff than, than, um, than Stanton? What? Is that, a what? Worse, is that a worse cliff than Stanton? No, no, because Stanton can still hit home runs if he actually stays healthy enough to do it. But I don't want either of those he guys. Hit, he hit like I would, 130. I would, no, he didn't hit, he didn't hit 130. He didn't uh, hit 130. Two, 180, 200. But okay. you know what? Two, you know what? But, but DJ LeMahieu was a contact hitter who can't make contact anymore. And that's the problem. It, 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 so, yeah, I have a few, I, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have a few moves, but the first move I'd make would be fire Aaron Boone. I'm signing Blake Snell and I'm fi- signing Jordan Montgomery. And I'm, because I mean, everything else can't be done right now. It's all, everything else is hypothetical. This I, actually can happen. I and got by the quote. way, you, you, notice, you notice my light? I'm angelic. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I'm angelic. This is God's way of telling you guys that I'm angelic. Hey, um, I got your coach. You uh, uh, Dusty uh, Baker. Oh, he's retired. He's done. He won. Brilliant. He's done. Yeah, I, I like Dusty Baker, but he's retired. One he's, he's season. One season. I, I tell you right now. You know. You know. I'm. I'm not going to say it. But remember when I'd Dusty? Make, remember I'd when? Make my, I'd make myself the manager, like in that movie, Little Mister B- Little Big League, years ago. The little kid who was 12 years old who managed the team. But I mean, I would. I would hire. I would hire. I would hire uh, Theo Epps. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd fire Brian Cashman too. Sorry, I forgot. But that. you remember when um, Dusty Baker was in the movie Angel in the Outfield? <laughs> yes. I would I would fire Brian Cash and also I'd hire Theo Epstein to be my my president of GM and then I'd hire Joe Madden to be my manager. Okay, I'm not mad at that. But Dusty yeah. Baker was an angel in the outfield. He um, was. I love your I love your Hollywood knowledge. Uh, it might it might have not been Dusty Baker. I don't it, know. I'm I'm just saying yes because you might, sound really convinced. It might, it might have been Danny Glover. Oh God, our wow. money. Wow. That's a big. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go <sighs> down that road. Wow. 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 Wait, uh, mix I, just believe, I just believed you because no, I don't remember the movie for shit. But I mean, I, did, I just remember. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't I remember for shit. It. We I both, we, we, we both yeah. believed you because you you were good at lying to both of us. Clearly, because did you even see the movie, Nick? Uh, yeah, of course I did. That was a what? childhood, a childhood <laughs> iconic movie. And, 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 and yet, you, and yet, you confused a, 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 a famous actor with a baseball manager. <laughs> I We're on there. the national airways, basically <laughs> saying that um, we agree that all older black people. Look alike. <laughs> I, I was gonna say it, but I was not gonna say it. That, that's 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 horrible. That's horrible. I can't. We're I can't say it. it. You can say it. We're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna get off. We're gonna get off Don's dimes and go right into one of our last parts of the show. 